comes to natural hair, like shrinkage will humble you real quick. Like you Hey girls, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a DIY hair mask, Cardi B style. She posted a video just showing how she does her hair mask and the benefits of the ingredients that she uses, which leaves her hair very soft and moisturized. So we're going to get into it because I want to try. And you know, I'm all for the natural hair products. So let's get into it. Everything that I'm going to be using in today's video on my hair is more than likely already in your house. If it's not, girl, get up, get in the car and make your way to the store to get these items because you definitely need it for your hair, whether you are natural or relaxed. So as you can see, I'm using a lot of different oils in this hair mask and I do have two avocados, two eggs, and a little bit of aloe vera juice in that blue container. So to mix all of this stuff up, I'm going to be using the Blend Jet, which is a portable blender. I love it. It is hassle free. You don't have to worry about cleaning up like a big mess that comes with using big blenders and it's the perfect size for a hair mask. These two avocados have been sitting in my pantry for a little too long, okay? So if you want, you can definitely get you a fresh avocado it really doesn't matter but when I saw her hair mask and I went in my pantry I'm like girl I got everything she used let me try this that's what I decided to do so I'm going to try it for the first time here with you guys now I did not use mayo um in my hair for this DIY I just girl I just didn't want to do it okay I, I don't know why I just didn't want to do it so I'm cutting up the avocado and putting it into the blender and then I'm going to follow up with my oils also because my hair is thick and on the long side I decided to use two avocados instead of one so the amount of products that you use just really depends on how your hair is so right here I'm going in with a little bit of aloe vera juice y'all this stuff is so funky ooh we it stinks and then I'm going to go in with some extra virgin olive oil <laughs> but I'm going to go in with some black Jamaican castor oil some wild hair growth oil and then I'm going to go in with some coconut oil a lot of oil girl which was kind of a mistake because it made the mask a little bit more soupy I wasn't really expecting that but anyways then I went back in with a little bit more of avocado oil and I'm going to use two eggs for my hair now you definitely can use one or you don't have to use an egg at all but please keep in mind when you are using an egg on your hair to not apply any type of heat because girl that egg or those eggs will start cooking in your hair and it will be so hard to get it out so using the blend jet blending everything together as you normally this does pretty good with blending everything down I think it was just the avocado was getting stuck at the bottom so maybe I should have put that in last I'm not really sure but for the most part it works really really well so as you can see it has blended everything down to a pretty good consistency where there is no chunks and it should be easy for me to apply this onto my hair and real quick, this is what the mask looks like. So like I said, there's no chunks in this whatsoever. So that little blender definitely did what it was supposed to do. Nice, creamy hair mask. I do think it's a little bit on the watery side just because I overdid it with the oils. Um, this is what my hair looks like. The shrinkage is definitely real. When it comes to natural hair, like shrinkage will humble you real quick. So... This is all my hair to the back so you guys can see it. Okay, cause like, first of all, detangling is like the worst type of pain. leave-in conditioner is bomb problems with detangling your hair girl spray a little bit of that and your hair will be detangled 
Okay, that clip was a hot mess. Basically, what I was trying to say was if you're tender headed like me and it is a pain to detangle your hair, definitely try the Cantu Leave In Conditioner Mist, y'all. This stuff, as you can see, detangles your hair so well. Just spray a little bit of water and then go real heavy handed on the leave in conditioner, and it is amazing. So, y'all, this mask stinks so bad. The aloe in here is so funky but look at what it's doing to my curl pattern like I'm just taking my fingers and running it through my hair and I'm not getting any snags and like look how juicy my curls look y'all like oh wait okay so let me keep um, sectioning off my hair and applying the mask now like I said it is a little um, on the watery side so I'm having to lean over on my sink just so that my sink catches a lot of the hair mask. So I'm just going to continue to apply all over following in sections. So let me say this, I definitely noticed instantly when I applied the hair mask to my hair that my hair felt so soft. Normally my hair has to sit with product in order for the softness to start developing, but y'all instantly I felt softness in my hair and look at how this comb is just going through the curls without a problem. The curls are super duper defined. That normally does not happen to my hair texture when I am applying any type of mask. So look at that, y'all. And the curls look so juicy and so defined, but y'all, this mask really stinks, really. So I'm just going to keep on sectioning off my hair and I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like when I'm completely done. Okay, so I don't believe in wasting products. So I'm just taking the last little bit of that hair mask and applying it all over my edges and the bag, just making sure every area is highly saturated. Now, of course, like I said, you don't want to apply any heat to your hair with this mask because you do have an egg in there. So I'm just going to use a plastic cap to help the product penetrate into the hair better. I wanted to show you guys how my hair looks once I rinsed out the hair mask. So on this side, I have nothing in my hair. I just rinsed it out and this is what it looks like. Now on the other side, I was thinking I was getting ready to wash my hair with shampoo, but girl, I had conditioner in my hands. So this side is what my hair looked like when I thought I was washing my hair, but actually I put conditioner in my hair. So this is what the curls look like, girl. Very juicy, very full of life and super defined. And y'all, my hair is still so 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 soft oh my god y'all y'all have got to try this mask so anyways let's go ahead and go washing my hair and i want you guys to see like the shrinkage is so freaking real on my hair it's crazy like when i'm in the shower my hair is like super duper long um but anyways my hair was super juicy super curly y'all this treatment is definitely a staple that I will be doing every single month because my hair. So I switched over to the Maui line a couple of months ago and my hair loves it. And I love it because the number one ingredient is aloe vera juice. So as you guys know, aloe vera definitely helps with hair growth. So I'm going to be using the shampoo and the conditioner. Then I'm going to follow up with my favorite leave-in conditioner of all time, which is the Cantu Shea Butter leave-in conditioner. Y'all, this stuff will make your hair so soft and easy to detangle. And of course, if I get like any snags along, 
along the way I'm going to go in with the Cantu leave-in conditioning spray okay so this is what my hair is looking like before I apply any type of product super soft y'all but like I said the shrinkage is so real with my hair so I'm going to go ahead and do what I do and I'll be back Now that I have my hair conditioned and sectioned off and detangled and a big clump of conditioner sitting right there on my ponytail, I'm going to go in with some hair grease, y'all. I'm going to be using the Do Grow Hair Fertilizer, and then I'm also going to be using the Blue Magic hair grease to lock in that moisture in my hair y'all these two combinations will leave your hair so soft and help with defining the twist out or braid out look that you're going for and it also definitely promotes hair growth i actually use these two products on ariana's hair as well you guys ask me all the time what do i use and i took it back to back in the day and i just apply grease to her hair especially on her ends and i don't apply a whole lot but just but just enough so that it can lock in that moisture from the conditioner and here is just the amount that i use as you can see it's not a whole lot because i still want moisture to be able to penetrate into my hair shaft and of course this is how i let my hair air dry overnight i do not apply any type of heat and this is what my hair looks like the next day and i'm just going to um undo my twist out on my hair and just put my hair in a ponytail like this just how i like to wear my hair but my hair is still really soft y'all and it definitely helped with making sure my curls are defined and i just absolutely love how the hair mask made my hair feel it's still really soft and you know i love it. I'm definitely going to be using this a lot more so yeah I'm going to go ahead and finish styling my hair and I hope you guys enjoyed this little DIY hair mask video slash um, hair care routine video I don't know whatever you want to call it but this is the look my curls are still so juicy um, I love wearing my ponytails like this when my curls are more defined in the back instead of just having like a big old bush so yeah I will be back with a follow-up video just to see if my hair has actually benefited from the mask. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next video.